Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryon of Magnetic Service. I say this often, I know where I am. I've said this before. The voice is the same, but my partner is not here. He stepped aside and his filters have been removed to clear away a path for communication that's beautiful. And he's not unique. For the path that he has cleared exists in every single human being. Did you hear that? Every single human being. The connection to that which is spirit through the higher self is guaranteed to any human who wants to find it. Free choice is needed with every human. The free choice to believe there's a creator. The free choice to think that you can contact the creator. The free choice to believe those who say you can't. The free choice to say it's through somebody else, maybe, if you were good. <laughs> free choice is necessary to clear a filter and connect and say, I see you, I feel you, I know you. For every single human being has God inside at some level, every one of you. There is the phrase you've heard created equal and you look around and you say we're not equal. Hardly. You say we're all completely and uniquely different. How could we be created equal? And this is a metaphor for God inside. Every single human on the planet has the spiritual seed of the creator inside them. And they can use it or not, they can awaken to it or not, they can be aware of it or not. But I'm talking to old souls. You are aware of it. At some level, you're aware of it or you wouldn't be here. The ones who listen to this, at some level, you're aware of it or you wouldn't be listening. So I know who you are. And that means that you know who I am. Or do you? Is it possible, and we say again and again, is it possible that what you are experiencing and hearing at this moment is not my partner? He is using the English language because that's what he knows, the intellect of the human being, because that's what he has. We're using everything that he has through his life and his history in order to talk through him to you in a succinct way. And I want you to notice how spirit talks to humans. It's through humans. It's always been through humans. We said it before, that which is the word of God, whatever that means to you, in whatever scripture you have, is humans. It's not handwriting on the wall. It's channeling. And so we invite you to change a perception if you need to about what this might be. Is it possible, really, that this is real? That spirit is actually here in the room in a way that you can, you can hear it. As we say, we are family. We know who you are. We know what you've been through. We have been all through it with you. We know why you're here. We know the ones who sit here are in trouble. We know who you are. We know why you've come. And all of these things is a benevolent knowing. And that is to say, we congratulate you for sitting in the chair, for being interested enough in you to sit here. I have messages beyond messages for you. I have unique ones, if you listen, for each of you. For some of the things that you are facing in this day, in this age, I need to reassure you some things about them so there would be no fear. A little later today, I'm going to do that. I'm going to talk a little about the hurdles and what you've been through and what you're facing and some of the, the things you want to hear because it's important that you know what is going on right now. 
I want you to know that you are not a mystery to God. You sit in isolation, don't you? You think you do, you don't. You haven't told anybody some of the secrets or very few about how you're feeling or what you're worried about or what you're afraid of. And we know it all as we hold your hand. We know it all. It's going to take more than just listening to a channel for you to understand this is real. You're going to have to take our hand, cognize, believe that it's possible that there is a caring God who is part of you, that there is a system that is beyond what you think, that is benevolent, who knows what's going on on this planet, knows you. You're in the right place at the right time. Dear ones, listen to me. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are right now. It's not important. Your soul is ancient. It is filled with experience. And it's forever. You know you're coming back, don't you? You don't want to, but you know. And there's a reason. You won't miss the finale. You are ancient ones. Can I call you ancient ones? You are filled with the experience of the earth. Some of you, right from the beginning. You come to this place and this stage and you're tired. And we know that too. You look around and you wonder what it's all about. We're going to tell you that. You feel alone and isolated, we're going to tell you about that. You wonder what's next. I'd like to fill your heart with what's next so you can relax and breathe easy, softly, and say, oh, that's good. <laughs> to know that things are clearing, but more than that, you're going to enjoy and reap the benefits of the work you have done and it's going to be in generations light worker you're not done and when you come back you're going to have a different countenance and a wisdom you don't have now and you're not going to make the same mistakes you made before this is guaranteed this is a new energy even the reincarnation system itself is changing and that is controversial. The things that you say will never change because God is God and will God forever and never changes. I want to tell you something. You change. And the system around you changes. And your relationship to the planet, the grids, and God changes. Because of this energy you have allowed to be created. All is changing. Healer, you know it. I know who's here. I know who's listening. You think you've lost some of your powers? That's ridiculous. Tune into the new station. Align with a new vibration and watch your healing ability double. But you're going to have to recalibrate. And stop for a while, perhaps. Get your new bearings. Get out the spiritual compass. And you'll see what I mean. I know who's here. There are those who are here who are still wondering, could this be real? I am not going to show you anything that's going to prove this one way or another, but there is love here. There is compassion here. Our hand is out to you, and you can either discern it or not. But we say, how can you not discern love when you've come to a place where you expected it? I know who's here. I want you to drop the shield momentarily of what stops you from loving. And just for a moment or two, see what you're missing. Because there's a validation for some right here, right now, that says, oh my, this is real. You can feel it. I don't want you to tune into crying, I want you to tune into you the higher self peace of God then you'll know what I am and what I feel and what's going on and that's just the beginning I want to give you a story tonight about a new human and so until then and so it is